Hello guys and welcome to the Maletta Motors Mobile Mechanic. I'm in my garage and in today's video I want to show you guys my titanium welding helmet. If you don't want to read instructions, just watch this video and you'll be good to go. Right now the helmet has batteries already in it and I'm looking at it upside down. If you want to remove it, you'll need to uh, slide that there and it unlocks it and then it removes like so. And it's got some fingerprints that I gotta get out. But basically you got that and then you got your replaceable screens. I actually have two screens in there because they seem a little flimsy, so I just put two. Also, uh, ease of use, if one gets messed up, I could just pull it out, swap it out, you know. But then this here pulls out out of the case. And as you pull it out, battery uh, compartments become accessible. And you could pop, pop your batteries in there. And as you could see, very easy to do. I'm doing it one-handed. And then when you're done, slide it back. And then, of course, twist it around. Let's see, I'm going to just adjust this. So you could kind of see this, but um, but anyways, you drop those legs into the holes, put it down. Yeah, yeah, just went down and then just lock it to the left. And then that's it. You're so not. Watch what happens when I put my hand in front of it. Look, black, black, welding, welding, welding is black, see? It will keep protecting you on one second. So maybe for somebody, they just want to, you know, see what they're doing, quickly weld black. Quick, quickly weld block but maybe like something like a two second delay would work better just because you know here's here's like you started welding and you're still welding and it's still on you know that's kind of like obviously it would be off because this is the sun but technically if you if you're as long as you're welding look if you put your hand very fast motion, I'm just putting it in front of the camera. As long as you're welding on a one second delay, the screen is black, but it needs to have some kind of jitter going on, something going on. If it's just a stagnant uh, screen like that, it's just obviously nothing's happening. Look, it's just like one, weld, done, weld, done. But if it's just like too much, look, black. Hello guys and welcome to another David Zamaletta. My name is Serge and in today's video I want to show you my titanium welding helmet. More importantly, I want to explain to you how it works and how to set it up. Uh, you could get one at Harbor Tools. That's where I got mine. And to set it up, you basically have to, uh, you know, do a couple things over here. So let me show you real quick. Uh, before setting it up, I want to show you... Uh, what's my setup right here so you could actually see um i got shade set to 13 i got delay set to 5 and sensitivity to 5. i want to explain what those things are but first let me show you how that that works so like you see how like i i put my um helmet to the sun you see how like it's not black but right now it's black look it's literally a five second delay when you could actually see um the picture again so there's the sun but look, I'm going to get it away. It's a delay. What I mean by that is, is this. If you got the helmet, you're probably thinking, well, how will this screen actually work? How is it going to block out the welding? Because that's why you bought it. And also they got like two batteries and you could see sort of like um, there is a sun, uh, you know, like a solar panel. You could actually see it kind of blinking as I do this. Uh, it does look like solar panels, but also looks like it's got like four sensors over here. And it's flashing right now. You can see it's flashing. Okay. So what's going on uh, is this. If you kind of start starting to look at the sun with this, you know, like kind of like testing it out as a welder, uh, your sun is, is basically going to be like shining nice so and bright. You might be thinking, okay, well, if I'm welding, battery is full charge you could clearly see everything then why is the sun visible and actually this will hurt your eyes if you look at it but 
for me to demonstrate this. Let me see if there's, okay. Well, just take my word for it. If I would stick my hand in front of it, that would still simulate welding light coming on and off, the screen would turn dark. And if you would be looking through that, uh, then you would clearly see it's a lot easier on your eyes. You would be just fine. So you might be wondering, what is this delay here, five seconds? Well, this is kind of like how often the screen will basically uh, flash black. Um, well, how long is it gonna stay on black, rather? So if you put it to one second, basically, it's gonna be like just, as you weld and you could see everything, it's like, zzz, it just turns off, you know, it turns black. And uh, as you basically, like each time you press a trigger, it quickly catches it and it won't, it will basically turn it black. But because I set it to five, that this will be easier to explain because the screen actually would stay on longer. And that's why I set it to that setting. So when I put my hand in front of it, the screen will stay black for about five seconds. So over here I have sensitivity. I put sensitivity to five. Now, there's also a, a weld and grind type of setting. You could also use this helmet for grinding and there's grinding flashes. So you could also like, uh, if you put this on, well, you yeah, see like how the screen comes on. It's just, you know, sort of like dark. You can see batteries fully charged. But um, so like you could right now it's a welder and there's a grinder set up right there. And sensitivity right now it's five, but there's one, there's two, there's three, there's four. Now, I recommend putting sensitivity to five because, I mean, you want to make sure this thing blocks out, you know, uh, the, the shiny light that your welder will produce, uh, you know. Um, and as far as the, the, the shade goes, so there's also shade 9, there's shade 10, there's shade 11. This is basically like darker and lighter type of shading. So I would put it on the darkest, you know, so make sure it's, I mean, I'm just putting like shade 13. But you can set this over here, but also you could quickly... Adjust it, see like it's to the right, so it says nine through 13 and that's five through nine. So if you swipe this to the left, it sets it automatically to five. So let's say you want a light, lighter shade, you could do that. Maybe you want to be able to see what you're still doing. I don't know, but um, that is there for you. And then of course, once you put it uh, to the left and it shows five, you could then go ahead and just touch the sensitivity and it's kind of, uh, I mean, touch the shade and basically it's going to uh, adjust uh, from one through nine. And then when you switch it to the right, you could adjust from nine to 13. That's just kind of how so that So now, works. of course, I have my camera recording on the tripod and I have the helmet up. So let's just point it towards the sun. So the sun is our weld. So watch this, move my hand in front of it, look, it's black. Move my hand in front of it, look, it's black. And it's a delay of uh, five seconds, black. So now it's like, uh, let me adjust the delay to one second. But anyways, guys, I do like this helmet. I don't know what it sells for right now. I got this thing a while ago. I just decided to do a video on it right now. That's why it looks a little bit dusty. But um, this helmet does come with five uh, screens. Uh, these are uh, kind of like uh, plastic ones. I actually installed two of them. So in case one of them gets damaged from sparks, I could quickly pull it out and I still have another one. Um, but basically, I like this helmet. I would recommend it if somebody really wants it. Uh, the only thing is, once you put the battery in, I don't really don't see an off switch. So I don't know if it's going to come off because I just now installed the batteries into it. To anybody that cares... So this is a 9.3 square square inch auto darkening welding helmet. Uh, it's a true color technology. It allows more color to pass through lens in light in dark state to better see your weld. Uh, adjustable headgear, comfortable for all the use. Uh, okay, again, 9.3 square inch welding area. See more of your weld. Okay, so four arc sensors, faster and more accurate dimming response and then there's more specifications and this is of course for anybody that's maybe researching helmets right now maybe this is why you're watching this video maybe you wanted to see more information about this 
Uh, it comes in this type of box. This was basically just sitting there uh, being in a box this whole time because I, I don't want it to get dusty and I just now installed batteries. It does come in instructions, but if you're somebody that does not want to read instructions, it's just good to watch a video like mine. I'm sure there's a lot more smarter people that could, could explain it better, but I'm a DIYer and I did work for a steel company for a year and a half where we had to weld every day. So I got some experience, but at the time, that's, this was like year 2000, you know, time. So it was a while I ago. I also do have this titanium welder here. Uh, this is uh, unlimited 200. It does anything from wire weld, stick, tick, uh, TIG, and uh, MIG welding. Um, very quickly, uh, the wire weld does not require any gas. You could just basically weld. Um, and of course, uh, if you're gonna be welding with stick welding, does not require any gas uh, at all. They sell different type of wire. Uh, this is the wire that came with it. Some wire basically sort of like have like gas inside. It's called like a little bit different when you're just doing wire welding. That's why you could actually weld it. So if you just want to wire weld, you want to make sure you get the appropriate wire for that. But if you want to um, weld like a, like a MIG uh, type of welder, you're going to need some argon uh, gas. My argon right here, but I have uh, some uh, other type of uh, units here for my settling torches. Have, like a little garage. But mainly I do work outside and uh, just because it's easier, especially when the car is down uh, to work there. But I do have a, you know, like a little little space uh, to be able to work in. Right now we're putting together one of the uh, carts here. Actually, I'll let my son do it. So that's why that's there. And I'm able to do basically anything DIY style. Uh, that's the idea to be able to save money, uh, to be able to just share share the love share, share the content but i enjoy making these type of videos so stay tuned for more um i'll be showing how this welder works and everything because i got a big project for this uh as we're going to be making a a sprinter uh tow truck basically kind of well car hauler anyways um not right away but the thing is uh we will be doing but that anyways Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care of yourself. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.